<laughs> well, perfect. Well, welcome everyone to this fabulous Focus Friday. I hope that um, everybody is excited, staying happy and healthy during uh, the holiday season. Uh, healthy is the most important thing right now, especially with everything that's going around, you know, in our little area. But we have a special guest today. Uh, Judy Shriver is with us. She is the Senior Learning Specialist um, with Coldwell Banker, and she is going to talk all things CBU for us today. So Yay. welcome. I know that you're busy and we appreciate you taking the time. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you guys for inviting me. I'm going to share my screen here just so I can go through this. Um, and welcome everyone. My name is Judy Shriver. As Sarah said, I'm one of the senior learning spe specialists here at Cobalt Banker. I am also a licensed real estate agent, although I don't sell actively any longer because they want all of their trainers to be non-compete. So I love all things real estate and I am really passionate about the CBU Learning Center. I've been on the project team for a couple of years because I think it's such a great place to be able to give our agents a incredibly powerful resource for their own learning and development. I know that when I first started years ago in real estate, I was, you know, looking at YouTube videos and things like that. So our CBU Learning Center is just a wealth of resources for you. So I want to bring those to your attention and show you how you can navigate some of the different features there. So thank you for having me. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the different components of the CBU Learning Center. First of all, Sarah, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, okay, great, awesome. I will stop and ask and check. If, go ahead, if you have any questions, guys, along the way, so feel free to throw them into the chat, I guess, or the Q&A, which one do you, do you have the Q&A set up or the chat? Which one is better, Sarah? I think people mostly use the chat, so we all will right. just continue with that. Chat away, people. Yes. So go ahead and put it in the chat. If you have any questions, we love the chat. I will stop periodically to see if there's any questions I can answer. So uh, before we get started, I do just want to go through this, just to, uh, an important announcement to just let you know, this is non-mandatory learning. So we appreciate you being here. And all of the things we discuss are just suggestions and best practices for your consideration. And please make sure that you're reviewing the requirements in your area with regard to COVID-19, as well as the telemarketing to consumers. All right. So there's the legal portion of the program. <laughs> So, <laughs> so the real estate industry is always changing and evolving, and that means that you guys really need to invest in your own development to make sure that you're sharpening your skills, honing those skills that it's going to take to stay on top of the industry. And recent studies have shown that over 88% of our agents prioritize tools and learning to help them succeed, as well as they put a high value on innovative tools and learning and a supportive culture. So our CBU Learning Center really has the goal of meeting all of these needs. And you know, we're really just really fortunate that Cobalt Banker has the best reputation in the industry for quality learning. And so we wanna be able to bring that to you through our CBU Learning Platform. And the nice thing about this is it's mobile responsive, which means that you can access the CBU Learning Center platform on your iPad, your phone. There's even a mobile app that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. So how do you get to the CBU Learning Center? Well, here's the first thing I want all of you to do. I want you all to go to desk. Go to your My CB desk, log in with your Okta credentials, and take a look for the CBU Learning Center tile. Desk is also a great place for other resources as well, as I'm sure you know. So it's kind of like where I go every day to start my day. Um, you can also get there, though, by going to our public-facing site, which is cbu.com. It will ask you if you're part of the Cobalt Banker Network, and you will need to log in with your, your Okta login in the same that you would for desk, and then you'll be able to get into the CBU Learning Center. So, and be able to register for classes so that they know you're part of the Cobalt Banker Network. So I'm going to cover five core features today of the CBU Learning Center. We've got the Agent Pathways, which help you navigate through a recommended series of classes. It's such a roadmap for you, no matter where you are in your real estate journey, to get through, you know, to, to move through some of the classes to help with your business. And then the other thing we're going to talk about is how you can find classes, not only in the pathways, but through the calendar. And then we're going to talk about our 24-7 video library. Wait a minute, we're missing one too here. Ari scoreboard. Oh, so this is what happens when, uh, when I'm responsible for updating the slides. So we're also going to talk about the learning library, which is where you will also be able to find and register for classes. We're going to talk about Ari scoreboard, which is like the Fitbit for your business and the accountability tracker. And then we're gonna also go over how you can get help when you need it. So 
All right, here we go. So the first thing I want to talk about is our agent pathways. And we have a number of different pathways. We have a new to business pathway. We have an experienced agent pathway, a pathway for an agent who wants to take their business to the next level, or maybe become a listing focused agent if you're not already, or perhaps build a team or break into the luxury market. So wherever you are, whatever you're looking to do and however you're looking to grow, we have a pathway for you. And I wanna give an example of kind of how these pathways work. So if we take a look, for example, at the, I wanna take my business to the next level pathway. Well, we know that the median percentage of an agent's business comes from repeat clients 15% of the time. And referrals from past clients account for about 19% of their business. So it is really important that um, you know you are looking to hone your sphere of influence. So if you were to go into the, I wanna take my business to the next level, one of the classes it's gonna recommend for you is going to be lead gen SOI. So this is really just sort of pinpointing how you can hone those skills that will take your business to that next level. So how do you find the agent pathways? Well, up in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna see your menu with that little hamburger stack there. If you click on that, it's going to have a drop-down menu and you're gonna look for pathways. Now you'll see here that there's a little arrow over to the right of the pathway. That means that there's a sub-menu under all of these. So if you click on that sub-menu, it's going to say, well, which pathway would you like? I wanna see all the pathways or maybe you know exactly where you want to go. So you can jump straight to that pathway. When you do, and uh, I will show you what that looks like, you'll come in. Let's say you want to explore the, I wanna take my business to the next level pathway. Well, you'll just click on learn more. And when you click on learn more, it's going to bring you in and it's gonna give you all the resources under this pathway. So there's things that you can attend, classes, there's self-paced classes that we'd recommend, there's short audio or video files that you could listen to, as well as corresponding tools that we'd recommend that you take that are going to help you along this pathway. So if you scroll down and you see what's available, you'll see that there's some virtual courses that you can take, and there's some self-paced classes you can do on your own time. There's some of these short audio or video files, these words from the wise that you can listen to and also some of the CV tools. And you'll notice here down at the bottom, it'll say like, once you've completed this pathway to wherever you feel you're comfortable, there is no requirements in the pathways. These are just guidelines. You can then click and go to the next pathway, which is building a listing based business. So this is really nice. If you're going in here and you're a little overwhelmed and you're thinking, I don't even know where to start. Pathways are a great way to sort of own what you should be looking for. All right, I don't see any questions in the chat. I'm gonna no, keep. We'll yeah. definitely be utilizing these pathways, uh, especially with our onboarding um, as we move into the new year. So this is really great. Nice, and yeah, and that's really great. Uh, like you were saying, Sarah, for a new business agent or somebody who's new to your company, you know, and they might be a seasoned agent. So that's those are these are a great place to really focus your efforts. So that's great to hear. Then. The other place that you can find and register for classes. Oh, so the other thing, oh, I, I clicked my thing and I didn't speak to it. So if you, let's say you wanna go in and you wanna learn more, you can click on any of these tools, any of the tiles that are in here, whether it be a virtual class or a self-paced class. If you click on learn more, it will bring up an overview and you'll be able to register easily for your class right there. But another place that you can register, find and register for classes is in the learning library. So the learning library, if you go in there, you're going to see a ton of content. This is where all of our content lives. And so because there's so much of it, we give you some of these lovely filters right at the top to help you find what you're interested in, whether it be a virtual class, a self-paced course, et cetera. So our learning library, you can sort by course type. You can sort by delivery type. And you can also sort by alphabetical or when it was created. But my favorite way to sort for the content is by going to this search bar right at the top. If you know that you're looking for something AMP or productivity, you can just simply go to this bar and start typing in what it is that you're looking for. And any of the things that come up with that class name, that even a portion of that text is going to pop up. So this is fantastic. So I'm looking here for AMP. And if I want to find out more about this, I click on learn more, 
Once I click on learn more, it's going to bring me into this class overview page. So each class has an overview page. You'll notice here on the right, whatever classes are available to you to take are going to show up here on the right hand side. You can toggle between in person and remote classes. We do offer a lot of remote classes that you can take advantage of, whether it be boot camp, if you're new to business or AMP, if you're looking to take your business to the next level. We also have a lot of our lead generation courses right online and we're opening up more and more every single day. So definitely check that out. And if you um, want to find out more about the class, you have the overview. You'll also notice up at the top here that you've got these this menu bar. And in that menu bar, you'll see that there is a participant tab. Now that participant tab is just for you where you can find all your participant materials. So let's say you register for AMP and you want to go in and you want to download the participant materials, you can do so right here. It's there for you whenever you need it. And the other thing it's going to do is give you related tools and more learning that you can take. You'll see up at the top, there's some other things that may or may not be in all of the courses. Um, if you are uh, an agent, you won't see any of the instructor in, or training information. But because I'm a trainer, that's also that's what I see. So I had no way to, to filter that out. But you will see the stuff that you will need, whether it be the participant materials or the tools. And let's say you find that you want to take this class going from January 4th to January 27th. You can simply click here on the register button and it will automatically register you. So that and you'll get a confirmation, which is makes it really easy. So there's two ways so far. We talked about the agent pathways where you can register. We also talked about how you can register through the learning library. So I'm going to talk about a third way, which is our course calendar. So the course calendar. If you click on the course calendar and they've just like they just updated this so it makes it really easy to kind of navigate through this calendar. So let's say you want to take a class here on the 10th. I'm going to take lead gen sphere of influence because I want to take my business to the next level. So if I click on that, what will happen is it's going to pull up this pop up window and you're going to see here that you can really easily register right from the calendar by just clicking on the register key or the register button here. Once you click on that, again, it's going to send you a confirmation, and then that button is going to turn from register to withdraw. So let's say perhaps something comes up, you've got a listing appointment, we hope, on the day that and the time that you're going to take that class and you need to withdraw from the class. You can simply go here and you can simply withdraw. You can manage this class right from the calendar view as well. If you wanted to go to that class overview page, you'll see that that's down here. And that will bring you in to find all that participant material. And on the day of the class, this button will turn into it will say join session. And I'll show you other places it'll say join session. So if you're if you're hunting for that, the confirmation and you didn't download the calendar file to put it into your calendar, we give you multiple places on the day of the class. The day of the class, you're going to have a join session button and you can just click and it will bring you right into that into that join session. All right. So. Here's what the confirmation is going to look like. I do want to make a note that there is an ICS file because we don't know what kind of email you have. So this ICS file will enable you to download that and then follow the prompts to add it into whatever um, calendar, electronic calendar you use. So don't forget to do that so that you'll get that. But you'll also get some reminders along the way that your class is coming up. But this is a good way to put it into your calendar. Can these three links be shared with us somehow via emails or as such? Three links. Sarah, do you know what she's? I think she's making, um, yes, it's through CB Desk, and we can go over that again in, in detail with you, but it would be through the calendar, CBU learning, and um, to register for classes. And I think that's what it was. Got so, it. Yep. Okay, great. We'll get that. Great. Yes, yes. My CB desk is the place where I would highly recommend that you guys just get into the habit of going into my CB desk. Um, you know, I, I, we've had my CB desk when I was an agent, that was like my one stop shop every day I would go in and I kind of like there was, you know, Prospect Square was there and my Moxie was there and there's all sorts of different things that I could utilize there. So I just kind of got into the habit of going in there and using desk every day. So, um, but you can, like I said, go to CBU.com, but we'd recommend that you go through desk. 
Okay. Um, also note on this calendar that you have a way to jump to different months. So if you just click on the month, instead of having to, let's say you want to go to December of 2023, instead of clicking 12 times, you can just go here, change the year, click on December or whatever month it is that you want, and it will easily jump you to that month. It will same thing for the day as well as the agenda, which is a week view. So you can jump to whatever week you want to see, whatever day you want to see very easily from the calendar. We also have the filters here up at the top where you can show different views of classes. Let's say you only want to see things that you've registered for, you can show that view, or maybe things that are available, not closed out, you can show that view, or maybe it's a multi-session course like Bootcamp or AMP, and you only want to see the first session. You just want to know when it starts. So you can show different views that way. You can see who it's provided by, and also the different course types, like technology courses, et cetera. So once you have found yourself searching the same way multiple times, then what I recommend that you do is set that search as a default filter. So every time you go in, it knows exactly what you're looking for, and it will bring you directly to that filter without you having to filter it every single time. Now, you can always go in and reset that filter. If you decide to change that filter, that is very easy to do right here on the, where's my mouse, on the reset button. So those are just ways that we make it really easy for you to, to see what your preferences are. I love that. Yeah, I know, right? All right, and you can, you can, like I was saying, you can view it in either the monthly view, you can do a day view, or you can do an agenda view. And a day view is just a bullet pointed list of that one day. And like I said, the agenda view is a whole Monday through Friday, and it's a bullet pointed list of everything that is available. And when you're in those day or agenda view, you can also click right on those classes, get that pop-up window and easily, easily register. So we make it very easy because that's the, that's the name of the game. We want you guys to register and take our classes. So the next thing, let's see if there's, I don't see any other questions so far. So um, I'm gonna keep moving on here. Uh, so the other thing that you can do is you can view all the courses that you are taking. So the courses that you are taking will be listed in the My Transcript. And when you go into My Transcript, what you're gonna see is any current classes. Current classes are gonna be the classes that are you're taking that day or that's in the middle of a multi-session course. So if you're, you know, day three of a two-week course, then that will show up as a current course. Also shows any upcoming classes you've registered, any completed classes you registered, any classes that you've registered for but you didn't complete, those will show up as well. And at the bottom, you'll see that there's a, there's a um, place where you can look at your self-paced transcript as well. So all of the classes that you're gonna, that you have taken or registered for will show up in the My Transcripts. And let's say you wanna find out some information. Let's say I'm in the middle of AMP or boot camp here and I forgot to download the materials and I wanna go in right beforehand and download the materials. I can go in there and I can click on view class It'll bring me to that class overview page where I can download materials, I can see the class, et cetera. So that's a way that you can manage your courses right within your transcripts without having to go and hunt for them on the calendar or look for them in the learning library. All right. Okay. Um, and Sarah Holler, if there is a question, feel free to kind of interrupt me as I go to, to let me know if there's anything. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. So the other thing I want to talk about is the video library, because we know that sometimes you're, you know, it's it's early in the morning with your cup of coffee or late at night after the kids have gone to bed and you want to just get some additional learning under your belt. So this enables you to view any of our videos 24 seven. Of course, it's on demand and you'll see all of the videos that we have in our video library. Now, what you're going to notice here is there's one hundred and three pieces of media. So that's a lot to weed through. So we've given you also these nine channels. And so the channels will have broken the topics down into nice manageable topics, listings, prospecting, Moxie works, et cetera. If I'm a new agent, here's some of the things that I should look at. So those are some of the great ways that you can find some of the videos uh, that you're interested in. With any of the courses that you um, take, and like you said, if you don't withdraw, um, is there are they all recorded? So if you're registered for the course, do they send you the video? Is that how that works or not? That is a really great question. We do not record our our sessions that 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 the company does uh, on the live virtual setting. 
And part of the reason is like some of them, it just doesn't really make sense. AMP and boot camp are very long. They're multi-session courses, um, hour, you know, three hours at a clip. And so we don't really feel that there's a lot of value in those. And we are also offering our lead gen classes and some of our other classes so frequently now we're offering, we're trying to offer everything almost every single month. So we hope if you can't make a class that you'll make another one because we see that the value, such a great value in the classes is the interaction that you have with the other agents that are there. And so we really want these to be an opportunity for you to come. We give you some of the, you know, some of the resources and some of the sort of bite size pieces in our video library, but we do not uh, put the recordings of all of our classes. Now, some of them we do, like you'll see here, Gen Blue. We, all of the virtual classes that were held during Gem Blue, which were phenomenal, uh, if you were didn't have a chance to to get there or do the virtual classes, um, the Gem Blue classes are all up there. So sometimes we do put classes up, but generally we offer the classes so often that we don't feel that we really um, have a, a need to do that. Thank you for that question. That's a great question. All right. So some of you might be familiar with RE Scoreboard. RE Scoreboard is the corner, cornerstone of some of our productivity classes like AMP and Outlist Outlast. And it's a way that you can track the activities that we know are gonna drive to your overarching financial goals for the year. So this is a really great place to really track and, and, and stay ahead of where your business is and how you can reach those goals. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you go into RE Scoreboard right here in the menu, and it's going to give you a sub menu. So you have a choice of doing Doing one of two things. You can just go to your dashboard, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, or you can go to the goal projector. So we recommend that the first thing that you do is go to your goal projector if you haven't done so already and set your goals. And now, now is the right time to be doing this if you haven't done it already, which I know some of you probably have with business planning and looking ahead to 2023, right? Hopefully everyone has. We had a huge business planning event in November and that was part of uh, the expectation. So I'm assuming Love it. everyone yes. has done what they were supposed to do. Great. So if you know what your goals are already, then you can just skip to the dashboard. If you haven't gone through the exercise, don't worry, I won't tell Sarah, but you can go to the goal projector right here in RE scoreboard, and it's going to ask you a series of questions. It's going to ask you, what are your financial goals? What are the things that you want to save for? Maybe it's a new car or a retirement fund or a family vacation. Then it's going to ask you, what are your business goals? How much do you owe in bills every year? What's your mortgage, your car payment, your cell phone, all those things that you have an obligation to meet a financial goal on every single year. How much do you want to save additionally, as well as what are your real estate expenses? Now you can just put those all into one top line number if you want. You don't have to go through individually, but we break it down for you so that you can just start thinking about how you want to or how much you need in order to fund the things that you want in the upcoming year. I've seen some people up here, well, in the financial goals, if they just want to skip the whole thing, they'll put in, my goal is income. They'll just put income and then they'll just put what their income goal is. So that's an option as well. But here's where it gets really personalized. The third part of it is going to ask you some market-based questions. It's going to ask you, what is your average sales price in the market that you sell in? What is the average commission percentage per side? How much is your personal commission split? What is the average number of appointments that you need to go on, people that you need to sit across the table and do a listing or a buyer presentation with before you get one close or one uh, closed transaction? Now, NAR says, and the reason this, you'll see here, there's a little information icon here. If you click on that, it'll say, the NAR statistic says it takes three appointments in order to get one closed transaction. And so we just fill that in for you. You can change that to whatever you want. If you've got a different track record and you know what that is, you can put that in. We're gonna ask you how many weeks are you planning on working in the year? And that's gonna vary depending on your life and, and your you know what you're doing with your real estate business. So you can put that number in that's customized to you. And then the last question, and again, there's this information icon because you may not know where to start with this. And this is a NAR statistic. So NAR says it takes an average of 30 contacts, 30 people that you reach out to and have a, a real estate conversation with in order to get one appointment. So that's the NAR average. I think when we did a Cobalt Banker study, that number is a lot lower. Um, I think it was like 15 or 10. So, but this is just a good starting point to just put in. And you can play with these numbers as they suit you. 
Once you've done that, you click on calculate activity goals. And what you're going to get is you're going to get your own personalized goals. So it's going to say, all right, if here's your business goal, it's going to take all those, those uh, financial responsibilities and goals that you have and add them up. And it's going to take into consideration all the market information. And then it's going to say, okay, so if you are working a five-day work week for 48 weeks, you will need to do seven contacts a day, have seven real estate conversations a day in order to reach your financial goal, to meet and hopefully exceed your financial goals. And you should have a goal of two appointments. So that's just this example. Yours might look a little bit different, but this takes that big number and breaks it down really easily for you so that it is uh, just bite-sized pieces, it's sort of the adage of how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? That's what we're trying to do for you here. Um, so where is the online version? So there's a couple places. So if you go into CBU, yeah. So if you go into CB, I, I don't know, Katrina, if you're talking about, yeah, she can, if Sarah can connect with you afterwards. Um, yeah. So if, if you're talking about where is the online version of, of, co, of, of uh, CBU, you can go to my CB desk or you can go to CBU.com, but we'd recommend desk. All right. Once you have your goals set, you can click on save to dashboard and that's going to populate your dashboard with your goals. So you'll see here, it's gonna break it down. Contacts today, appointments this week, buyer agreements this month, listing agreements this month, et cetera. And what you can do is you can update and we recommend that you make a habit of going in here daily and you update your activity. And so you'll go in and you can just plus or minus, how many people did I talk to today? And what it's gonna give you is this lovely visual reminder of where you are against your daily, weekly and monthly goals. So it's really nice to be able to go in here and then you'll see here that, that um, the production will feed in through your through Dash into here as well. So that's a great way to keep track of where you are. I have zeros because like I said, I don't sell real estate actively. So um, unfortunately that's, you know, <laughs> yours is gonna hopefully look a lot different from mine. Mine is all zeros, so. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I wish it was different, but you know. Uh, so, all right, so the CBU Learning Center has so much great information and it's really easy and, and intuitive to navigate. So we highly recommend that you get in there and start playing around. Uh, but if you do ever get stuck, there's always down in the bottom right-hand corner, you, the lovely help icon on most, uh, if not all pages in CBU. And what that's gonna give you, it's gonna give you the CBU Help Desk number. It's gonna give you the CBU Help Center. That's the first place I would go. They have tons of job aids in there. Um, submit a feature request or submit feedback on the platform. So that's there for you whenever you need it. So there's a few other things that um, we can just go over here that I'm not gonna really go in depth on, but I just kind of wanna point out that there's some other things when you look at the drop down menu in CBU, you're gonna see that there is marketing classes that you can take and Gen Blue content that we uploaded there. So that'll just jump you right to that Gen Blue content. There's also Moxie Works. We know that Moxie is a hot topic. We got tons of resources for you in CBU. And we have been telling people, this is the place, if you, the first place to go is to go. There are tons of job aids, participant materials, getting started guides. There's e-webinars, self-paced courses. So definitely check that out. And we also give our agents a script library. So if you're looking at, you know, hey, I really want to start calling for sale by owners, but I'm really not sure how to approach that. You can go in and your scripts are just a guideline that will help you get started on the road to having those conversations. All right. Another thing I just want to, sorry, go ahead. I just say a lot of amazing tools, super user friendly, really fantastic. Yes. Just get in there and start playing around is what I'd recommend. We have here on the front too, you'll see the carousel. You'll see that there's the agent goal projector is right here. We give you like a short version of the agent goal projector right here on the carousel. We have different things that you can, you know, any of the feature learning that we want you to, to take a look at is going to be there. This might be look different from you than it does for me. It also will change periodically. So definitely take a note of what is in that carousel. You'll see the arrows here will tell you that there might be some more that you can scroll through. So definitely keep that in mind. And then we also have this what's new. So, you know, we're constantly upgrading CBU, constantly. Every few weeks we push through another sprint with improvements or, you know, things that we, uh, that we want to add in functionality. So you can click there to find out what's new in CBU as well. 
So one of the things I talked about was that, and this is something I'm very excited about, is that CBU is now a mobile app. So I'd encourage you right now to pick up your phones. Normally in a meeting, you wouldn't, people wouldn't be encouraging you to pick up your phone, but pick up your phone, go to your app store. You can go to your Android or your Apple app store, look for CBU Learning Center, and you can download that right to your phone. You'll be able to see the courses. You'll see the calendar. You can register for classes there. You can track your activity in RE scoreboard. You can set your goals there. Everything, most of the functionality that is in our website will be right in the palm of your hand at the in your phone and you can also get push notifications so every time i register for a class i get a notification on my phone that i've registered for a class and i get my reminders there as well i will also get those in my email um, so it's really a great little uh you know it's a great resource for you to have in as a complement to the cbu learning center that's perfect there's no excuses there's no excuses you can have it at the palm of your hand you bet and like i said you know if you can access it, go to desk or cbu.com and get in there and start playing around because there's just a wealth of resources that we are looking forward to you taking advantage of. So that's all I have. Any other questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Yep. Or and anybody can reach out to me or your managing director if you need um, additional help with um, logging into CB desk or any other questions that you may have. Um, Judy has been kind enough to... Um, always accept my phone calls, emails, and meetings. So I yeah, do feel like I'm definitely getting up there on the, I'm definitely not a senior learning. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I think, don't you have some sort of quiz to test your knowledge? And we might oh. have a fabulous prize. You know what? You I better just- I didn't put it together. However, <laughs> however- I do, and I will, if it's okay with you, Sarah, I'm going to switch gears here because I hate being unprepared. I do have a, a holiday quiz, a holiday trivia quiz we could do quickly. Is that work? Perfect. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Yes. We'll see All right. Wins. Okay. Let me share this. I'm going to go into Kahoot. So I'm going to ask you guys um, if you could please go to Kahoot.com or just hold on a second and I'll give you a QR code. Let me just get in here. And then I'll share it in my screen. Oh, you're welcome, Teresa. All right, let's see. Come on. Yeah, this is kind of fun. No excuses, Karen. I love it. All right. Okay, why is it not letting me log in? I always feel like I always feel fine when I'm on. I feel like my computer, maybe I just need a new computer. My bandwidth is so. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing for a second, see if that helps. My bandwidth when I'm on Zoom calls or Teams calls gets really, let's get a little slowed up here. Aha, here we go. Okay. We're back in business. Back in business. Back in business. I hope everybody's getting ready for the holidays. I will fully admit I have done nothing. Not, I can't tell my kids nothing. <laughs> I'm, and we have our tree up. That's about it. But, you know, trees and lights. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. All that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay. So this is a holiday quiz. So we've got a couple holiday trivia questions that we can ask you. And Sarah, you could be my Vanna White. Tell us what, what our winner will get. We have a very fabulous Coldwell Banker Distinctive Properties new water bottle with our new logo. Love it. I love your new logo with the mountains. That looks fantastic. All right, so I'm going to start this. I'm going to put the screen up here. So pick up your phones if you want to use the QR code, or you can go to a browser in your phone, and you can type in the uh, game code here. We got 15 trivia questions that we can go through. I'm just going to put this up here. Loading. Job, Perfect. Can they do this on their own? I'm sure some people have to go, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, what do you mean? Do this other I mean, like, yeah, I, I think some people will have to leave just because we say 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, Sorry, guys. It's okay. Will it take? How about we do um, one question from a percentage standpoint? There was a percentage that you said in the very beginning of our meeting um, of real estate agents that um, do educational ah. courses and 
to enhance yes. their skill set. There was a percentage. So whoever can put that in the chat first will win our prize. So I think that I think the percentage that you are referring to is the uh, percentage of agents who really value the learning and tools. Yes. Yep. I did mention. Wow. Good job, Sarah. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> Not that I was surprised that you wouldn't, but um, so yes, yeah, so um, so good. Well, we will ask that one question. So who can put it into the chat? If anybody can remember that statistic of the percentage of agents that we surveyed that said that they really value tools, learning, and support, and that's really what the goal is of CBU. Well, if nobody gets it, oh, oh, you're so close, Sarah Hedikoff. So close. I think I say we give it to her since she was the first and she's the closest. That, I say great. Sarah gets it. I love it. Close, Trisha. So Sarah does win at 88%. Very good. 88%. Yep. So <laughs> yay, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. It was very, very invaluable. We, again, you know, our company, we really want to push all the tools uh, with CBU and really doing some of our own um, just really get diving into it. So we appreciate the overview for people who um, just needed a refresher and then people that obviously needed to. So again, if you need yeah. anything, reach out to me or um, your managing director. And other than that, have a fabulous weekend.